Did you know that many older traditional Buddhists from long ago did not do sitting meditation as we currently know it? They did focus the mind and found it important to do so within any activity. Walking meditation is an excellent source for connecting with this spirit and energy. Mindful walking can be a way to awaken our delights as we notice the sights, smells, and sounds in our surroundings. We can connect to our senses and nourish our relationship to the peace, pleasure, and technicolor qualities of the present moment as we walk. Starting your day with an intentional morning walk can be the key to bringing calm awareness as you very simply turn your attention to what the body is experiencing as you bring your awareness to feeling your feet as you walk. This morning walk can be done on the way to your car, in a park, or even as you're walking down a hallway. All it takes is being awake to what you notice when you're walking. Today, let's take a look at walking meditation and getting the most from it. We are so used to walking in what we call autopilot which is basically being tuned out and just letting the body go. You may notice that this feels a little strange to be so intentional about walking, but that's okay. The most growth will always come from reaching a little further step by step. To begin, choose a foot to start with. Pick it up, move it through space, and gently place it on the ground feeling the sensations of each part of this process from heel to toe. So, picking the foot up, making a choice, picking the foot forward, lifting it, moving it through space, feeling it touch down from heel to toe. These are all sensations you should get the mind in touch with. So you walk with intention. We're so used to walking in what we call autopilot basically being tuned out and just letting go, but you may notice it all feels a little strange to be so intentional. That's okay. This intention that you're bringing is a way for you to reconnect with the present moment and what you're feeling right now. So let yourself notice. Notice as much as you can about the feet, about the picking up of the foot, about moving it through space and gently placing it down. I guess most of us are so used to walking that when we first bring our attention to it, we might even feel a little wobbly. That's okay. This is normal and part of what it feels like to wake up and actively notice the details of what we are doing. So focus your attention. Focus on the feeling of your feet making contact with the ground right now. Can you notice a difference between thinking about your feet and feeling them making contact with the floor or earth? Can you let yourself experience what it's like to be grounded and connected as you make a conscious choice to be present for this walk? Try to feel your surroundings. If you've chosen to walk outside, allow yourself to feel the impact of the air on your skin. What do you notice? Is it warm or cool? Is the air damp or dry? Allow yourself to notice it and feel it. Notice when thoughts take over. You may notice how quickly your attention is drawn to your thoughts, whether it's thoughts of your day, list making, or maybe you're running an old conversation or story over and over in your mind. Once you notice your thoughts trying to hijack your walk, you may also notice that being lost in thought makes it more difficult to connect with your senses. You probably will notice that you find it harder to hear what's going on in your environment, harder to smell anything or taste anything. Thoughts are that powerful. So when you know the thoughts are pulling you away, just notice that this is what's happening. Smile and you can gently and kindly choose to redirect your attention back to your felt senses and even more particularly, back to the feeling of your feet walking on the earth. Come back to this experience of the senses and the feet over and over throughout your walk. Let yourself experience your surroundings. What do you notice about the weather? Do you have an opinion about it? What happens if you just experience that weather is here, noticing the qualities of the weather or how you're experiencing it on the skin or in the body? 
What happens when you let yourself notice the sounds around you? What do you notice about the smells around you? Can you experience these sensory qualities as the symphony of the world? Pause now and then and think about that. Another way you might heighten the sensory experience of this walk is every once in a while stop right in your tracks if you're able and it's appropriate and notice in a very specific way what it feels like to be grounded as you feel your feet making contact with the earth or the floor. Maybe take a moment to choose a particular thing to experience through the eyes, focusing on color, shapes, or texture. Find your pace, walking, noticing which foot is moving as you pick it up and move it through space and gently placing it down, feeling the earth underneath and making contact. Although it might help to begin by practicing going slowly, Once you have learned to be present to walking in this new way, there's no reason you can't move more quickly. So find whatever pace allows you to stay present while you're experiencing it. Bring your attention back to your feet over and over. It is the greatest way to help reconnect with the present moment as you let your felt senses and the feeling of your feet touching the ground bring you back right here, right now, coming back over and over and over. At the end of your walk, notice how you feel. Check in with each one of your senses. What are you aware of right now? Having spent this time bringing your attention to the sensory experiences, what do you notice now about your mood? Notice what it feels like to inhabit your body and be awake to your amazing moment known as life. If you enjoy these talks, if you have topics that you would like to suggest, please like, subscribe, and follow below. As always, peace and love, Jim.